Hey Puget Sound Depth Chargers, this is Hannah coming at you with our second virtual meeting. Uh, this week, this month, we're going to be talking about sharks with a fantastic guest speaker named Jessie. She's going to do a couple different videos about sharks and how we can uh, help keep them around. There's some pretty interesting statistics in that, so I'm very excited for you to learn about that with me. I also know that quite a few of our club members have gone and dove with sharks, so I would love to, in the comments, um, hear about your experiences, about where you went, and what you love about sharks. Uh, the other thing coming up is we have a couple announcements from Reef Seekers here in Puyallup, and we have a couple trivia questions coming up. So if you were uh, active and you watched our last club meeting, there are five trivia questions spread throughout this video. Make sure that you are able to jot down your answers, and at the very end, I'll let you know what all the answers are. So. In lieu of our face-to-face -face meeting, hopefully we get to have one soon. Make sure you have your favorite beverage, you're relaxed, and enjoy our second virtual club meeting. I know that I'm not the only one who's very frustrated with what's going on. Being stuck in the house, a lot of plans have changed, vacation plans, wedding plan and honeymoon plans are changing all the time, it's getting really annoying. The one thing that's keeping me sane and that I hope is keeping you sane is the ability to go out and dive. I've been diving a lot more than I normally would during these times because, well, there's nothing else to do and it has been fantastic. I've seen a couple of GPOs, I've seen um, some beautiful ratfish and some beautiful wolf eels. So I really hope that everyone is out diving and remember that while you're diving you're socially distancing and following all of those hygienic practices. So wash your hands. Cover your face, keep on diving. Sharks, amazing, awesome, beautiful, but also misunderstood and threatened. Hi Puget Sound Death Chargers, my name is Jesse Miles and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about sharks. Now before I get into that, I just wanted to say thank you for having me at your virtual meeting. Hopefully I can meet you in person at some point. But until then, um, again my name is Jesse, and I am a local scuba instructor, a gear technician, a research diver, and I also work at a local aquarium as a dive safety officer. So I'm going to introduce you to some of the sharks or the really cool co-workers that I work with and I made you this short video and I hope you enjoy. More than 500 species of sharks roam the world's oceans and one third of those are threatened with extinction. In our South Pacific Aquarium, you will meet five species of sharks. We have a black tip reef shark, nurse sharks, a Japanese wobbegong, sandbars, and a nine foot sand tiger shark. All are ambassadors to their wild counterparts and play a role in inspiring shark conservation. Many people view sharks as threatening, but in reality it is sharks who are threatened by humans as we are killing them at an alarming and unsustainable rate. Humans are killing over 8,000 sharks an hour, over 70 million per year through finning and overfishing. Sharks play a crucial role in the marine ecosystem as one of the top level predators, keeping our oceans balanced and maintaining diversity. Hey Puget Sound Depth Chargers, coming at you with your first trivia question. First out of five, make sure you're paying attention. Your first trivia question is, how much of the Earth's surface is covered in water? Reef Seekers would like to remind everyone that they are a full service dive shop. If you need any of your gear serviced, if you need to upgrade any of your gear, or if you're just looking to come in, sit down and have a cup of coffee, they are open on Mondays and Fridays from 4 to 7 p.m., Saturdays and Sundays 9 to 5. They have a very big announcement for you and that is that they now carry Zegel. If you are a Zegel fan and you want to try out some of their VCs, or if you're looking to purchase your own VC that's new, come on in, we can get you fitted for a new Zegel VC. They're very excited to start this new adventure with Zegel, including other products through Cressy and Oceanic and Oceaner and USIA. Come on in if you have any questions or if you need anything done, they can get you taken care of. Trivia question number three. 
the deepest depth that a manned vessel has ever achieved was what depth? I will accept your answers in meters or in feet. To put things in perspective, in 2012, the average number of people that were attacked by sharks was about eight every single year. However, that number has actually gone down in recent years. But in turn, every single hour, we are killing over 4,000 sharks, only due to one reason, which is thinning. It's actually over 8,000 sharks we are killing every single hour, which comes out to about 70 million or more every single year. So a little bit more about shark finning and what it is. So shark finning is a cruel, wasteful practice where they cut the fins off of sharks and then they throw the bodies back to drown, bleed out, or become food for other animals. So it's a very cruel and wasteful practice and what they do with the fins most of the time is make shark fin soup. Now, shark fin soup is considered a status symbol and a delicacy in many cultures all over the world. It is most common uh, to be eaten in Asian countries. However, it's a worldwide problem that we face because a lot of the finning does take place in areas like South America, and even here in the United States, we play a role in shark finning. In only 12 states have we banned shark fin soup being sold in restaurants. And Washington is included, however, we play a role because we transport shark fin products throughout our ports all the time. So it is a worldwide issue that we are facing when it comes to shark finning. Coming at you with trivia question number two. According to statistics, scuba diving is actually a safer sport than what? So here we are out in front of the shark exhibit that I get to work in. We can see that we have a little bit of activity going on. All those silvery fish in the back are different kinds of jacks. We have a sandbar, so a little male coming by right now. And our black tip reef shark. They did just eat this morning. Now figuring out a diet for a shark can be a little bit challenging, but here we feed them quite a wide variety of food. They get sometimes what we call squimp, where we shove shrimp inside of a squid. And they also get salmon, capelin, herring, halibut, the list just goes on and on. And they get restaurant quality seafood. So very important to have a nice, healthy diet for the sharks, good water quality, and making sure that you're choosing sharks that get along well, that might be found in a similar environment. And we're about to get a pass by one of my favorite sharks right now. This is our sand tiger shark. Now this is a pretty old guy. He's almost 40 years old and probably the most terrifying looking, but he's my favorite ambassador because while he is kind of scary looking, He's actually just kind of an old man that just cruises around the exhibit. Trivia question number four. On average, how many miles does a gray whale migrate every year? Reef Seekers in Puyallup will be open on Friday, July 3rd from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. for all of your scuba diving needs. They will be closed on Saturday, July 4th and Sunday, July 5th in order to celebrate this wonderful holiday with their families. They will reopen with regular business hours on Monday, July 6th from 4 to 7 p.m. Last but not least, trivia question number five. What is it called when there is a sudden or drastic temperature change in the water? So now that you've come with us on a journey of exploration through being eye to eye with sharks, we hope you've discovered just how amazing sharks are for yourself and will leave with a greater appreciation and understanding of these often misunderstood animals. By being in the water as they swim past, we can form connections with the sharks, making it easier to care. There are many ways sharks can use our help. We can choose sustainable seafood options, reduce the amount of entanglement and bycatch in our oceans, use less plastics, support shark research, get involved in securing better legal protection, and most importantly, share your story and spread your knowledge on why we should care. 
Without our help, shark numbers will continue to decline, but what you do makes a difference. So sign the pledge and be a part of the change. So thanks for having me at your meeting. Um, Hannah has my information if anybody has any further questions about sharks. Hope you learned a little bit more about these amazing animals that hopefully most of us are lucky to dive with at some point in our dive careers. And you guys have a great uh, rest of your day. Trivia answers. The first trivia question answer was 71% of the Earth's surface is covered in water. Your second answer is scuba diving is statistically safer than marathon running or running a marathon. Your third trivia answer is the deepest a man vessel has ever achieved was 11,000 meters or 36,089 feet and two inches if we're going to get technical. Your fourth trivia answer is, on average, a gray whale will migrate about 10,000 miles every year. And your last but not least, going back to your open water training, a thermocline is a drastic and sudden change in water temperature. How did you guys do on some of those trivia facts? Let us know in the comments. Well, Doc Chargers, it's been a great meeting. I learned a lot. I'm really excited about being able to plan a trip to go diving with sharks. Um, I want all of us to take a second and comment thank you to Jessie. She did a fantastic job, really helped us out, and she's really excited to be able to invite us uh, to her workplace and be able to come and talk to us face to face and actually get to know each other. So I hope you guys had a great time. Let us know what you liked. Let us know how you did on the trivia questions, and hopefully our next meeting gets to be in in person. And if not, what do you guys want to do next time? Let me know in the comments. I miss you guys all. Make sure to keep diving. We'll see you soon.